Good evening everyone, I am Jayashri from Srimati Durgabai Deshmukh Women's Technical Training Institute. My, mother, my mother's name is Yamini and my father's name is Vida Reddy. Today I am going to tell you about instrumentation amplifier. Let's start. Basically we use an instrumentation amplifier to monitor and measure physical parameters like sunlight, sorry, sorry, like fire, temperature, pressure and many more. Some of the sensors we use are thermocoupler which which is used to change temperature into electrical signal next we use microphone which we are very familiar with which converts our sound energy into electrical energy so we, we, these are the basic sensors which we use this but the sensors output is very much small like it ranges from few microvolts so we use this instrument ampli instrumentation amplifier to amplify these signals. So this is a circuit diagram of an instrumentation amplifier which contains two non-inverting amplifiers and this is a difference amplifier. The output is fed to this difference amplifier as input. Here we'll have V1 and V2. Here we'll be having VO1 and VO2. The operation is very simple. First, we know that the output for a difference amplifier is V out is equal to R2 by R1 into, here we are taking differences of voltages, here we are considering this as well as this. So here we will take this as VO2 minus VO1. So here we need to know these voltages. So first let us know the current current is equal to, we know current is equal to V by R. So here voltages are VO1 and VO2, two voltages are there. So we need to take the difference that is VO1 minus VO2 by and here we are having two resistors, right, RF and two RFs and one RT is there. So we will take two RF plus RT. Consider this as first equation. Okay, now by using virtual short because here we are having negative feedback. So we know that when there is a negative feedback for op amp, then the voltage across the non-inverting terminal will appear at the inverting terminal. So here we will take it as another input that sorry current that is equal to V1 minus V2 by we are taking this one V1 minus V2 by this one RT. So here this turns up to be the second equation. Now we will equate these two equations, 1 is equal to 2. Okay, when we equate these two equations, I and I are similar, so we will equate these two things, that is VO1 minus VO2 by 2RF plus RT, that is equal to this one, that is V1 minus V2 by RT. Here, we will cross multiply this so that we will be getting VO1 minus VO2 is equal to 2 sorry RT by 2 RF plus RT into V1 minus V2. I hope you got this step. Now we need to find out for this one. So we will interchange this like VO2 minus VO1 is equal to RT by 2 RF sorry this one goes up sorry sorry RF plus RT by RT into V1 you can write it like this way also ok. Now we got the equation for this. Can we substitute this here? So here we will get the output voltage as R2 by R1 into here we can take it as LCM so 1 plus 2 RF by RT into V2 minus V1. This is the output voltage for this instrumentation amplifier. Basically by using this instrumentation amplifier to amplify the signals which we get from the sensor which are very small in measure that is few microvolts. So we need to amplify them. 
the main applications of this instrumentation amplifier is we will be using them in sound buzzers, fire alarms and uh, home automation and many more. So the main difference between normal op amp and instrumentation op amp is in instrumentation amplifier op amp only different stages preferred. But in normal op amp we can use both inverting and non-inverting and even different amplifier. So this ends my topic. Thank you.